Hey, come on. He did it again. And we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice and pretty and sensitive. I may have overestimated you. with my appearance, thank you very much. Sir, please stop. Or you'll do fucking what? I could make you a- You deaf? He asked you to do something, politely. Chill the fuck out. Thank you, V. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry, you deserve it. You're one tough cookie, and yet so nice. Not to everyone. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here. And yet, here you are, like a glitch in the system, or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of, right, V? How did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for a CSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, alright? Catch you later, Brennan. <laughs> 